Greetings to everyone who is listening and watching me right about now. Brothers and sisters, I have an amazing and powerful word of direction for you, my dear brothers and sisters. These are the words that you have been waiting for. Some of you, all that you need is a word that will uplift you and a breakthrough will happen in your lives. My name is Grace and I release these words on a daily basis. If you are new to this channel, I please recommend you or request you to subscribe to this channel so that you may be able to receive these amazing, powerful words on a daily basis. Remember that I also have live streams where I pray for you and I encourage you in the Lord. There is nothing that is impossible. With God, all things are possible. Brothers and sisters, I have a word for you. And the word is, do not let anything distract you. Do not let people distract you. Some of you, your conviction has distracted you. You are being distracted by what you are going through. Your work is distracting you. Do not let anything come in your way to seeing your breakthrough. You are so close to your breakthrough than before. Let no one lie to you. Remember that the enemy attacks the most when you are closest to your breakthrough. Whenever you see so many attacks in your life, just know you are so close to your breakthrough. Some of you are one step away to your miracle. You are one prayer away to that uh, great, great, great thing that God has promised you. And I've always told you that God is not a man that he should lie. If he has promised you, that thing will come to pass. So don't let the storm distract you. I'm reminded of the story of Peter, who saw Jesus walk on water. And when he saw Jesus walk on water, he called out to Jesus. He said, Master, Rabbi, if it, does, if, if it is you, bid me to come. And Jesus told him to come. You see, Peter was walking on water. Maybe he walked on water for two steps, three steps. But when he saw the wind, he began to sink. Some of you have been walking so well. You have been moving so well. You started so well. But the ending is bad because of lack of faith. You are being distracted by what you see around you. Focus on Jesus. Let me read to you a very powerful story that is going to really bless you. It is from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 38 to 49. Sorry, I repeat. Luke, chapter 10, verse 38 to 41. Luke, chapter 10, verse 38 to 41. It reads, Now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her. You see this powerful scripture? Martha was distracted with so much serving. She was distracted and started focusing on other things that do not matter. Some of you are distracted in the way. Just because someone said something negative about you, that should not bring you down. You have fought so many battles to fall down at this stage. You have come so far to just end this way. Let nothing distract you from seeing your breakthrough. The Bible says it clear. 
that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Everything that you need, it is in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So don't be distracted. Be focused. Martha was distracted in many things. And Jesus told her, you are worried and troubled about many things. Some of you, every night you are worried. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, this is the reason as to why you do not sleep well at night. Because you are so worried. You are thinking about tomorrow. You are thinking about things that do not, did not go on well. Brothers and sisters, you need one thing. You only need one breakthrough. One miracle. You only need one prayer. To silence your enemies. Listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says it clear. Show me a sign of your, show me a sign that my enemies may see and be put to shame. When God shows you a sign of his goodness, that's what I was, wait, I was looking for. When God shows you a sign of his goodness and your enemies see it, they will be put to shame. And some of you, God has been showing you a sign of his goodness. They waited to strike you. They have conspired against you. They have put up a negative report. Some of you, you have been put up into court systems. You have caught cases that are coming up, cases that are piling up. But God has been so good to you that you have not yet stumbled. That it has not yet taken you down. Do you know how many people would wish to kill you? While you sleep, your enemies and witches are plotting your destruction. But you wake up in the morning because God loves you. You are able to wake up every morning because God has kept you alive. Because God has protected you. The Bible says it clear that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs to it and he is safe. Brothers and sisters, my word of encouragement. In everything you do, run to God. Don't be troubled. Be calm in all situations. When you receive bad news, when you receive heartbreaking news, don't be there and start thinking and thinking and weeping. Praise God. Thank God. The Bible says you shall enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, that if you trust in God, you are going to overcome. You are going to win the enemy. All what the enemy wants you to do is to have doubt. All that the enemy wants you to do is to have no faith. This is why I release these words on a daily basis. So that they can build up your faith in the Lord. To tell you that God cares about you. Brothers and sisters, until next time, shalom.